Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to do another first for the channel. This is going to be my first encounter with a beer from Israel. So for this one we are going to Alexander Brewery, who are from Emek Hefer, which looks as if it was near Tel Aviv on the map in Israel. And this is a beer that they did in collaboration with McKellar, of course one of the famous gypsy breweries from Copenhagen. And that's probably why we get this beer here in Sweden. So for this one we're having a taste of the beer of milk and honey which comes in 8.4 percent it's rated 94 overall on rate beer and it should be quite interesting i think this beer is going to be one of these kind of sweet stouts it's got some lactose in the brew some orange peel honey and cassinade sugar so it should be a really interesting one for us to try and it's always cool to try beers from different countries of course as well as i say my very first encounter with a beer from israel so anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then i'll tell you a little bit about the breweries involved here if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery websites the link to my other reviews that i've done from mckellar and also a link to the future reviews that hopefully i can do from alexander brewery there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel the whole channel has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city or state, whatever you're interested in. Do check out the whiskey and sake reviews on the channel as well. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries you guys would like to see me review, especially if you're watching in Israel, because I don't know so much about your beer scene. But your input and your support into the channel is always hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Alexander Brewery first. So Alexander Brewery were founded in August 2008 and they're based in Emmett Heifer near Alexander Stream. And this is on the Sharon Plain, which looks on the map as if it was to the north of Tel Aviv and quite close to the city of Netanya. So the company founder is Ori Sari, who is a former Air Force pilot and he'd been interested in beer and home brewing for over 20 years and he later got really interested in his home brewing hobby. So when he left the Air Force, he actually studied at the Cebo Institute of Technology in Chicago for his brewing certificates and then he was joined by three friends at the brewery. And this was Avi himself, who was also an Air Force pilot and he's quite a well-regarded whiskey expert in Israel as well and he was also joined by the restaurateurs and brothers Joram and Ari Yartsen. So the current brewmaster at the brewery is Patrick Van Dam, who's from the Netherlands. He's a graduate of the Weinstefan Institute from Munich in Germany and he's joined by Dan Traub who also studied at the Siebel Institute over in Chicago as well. Their brew kit comes from Braukon in Germany and the fermentation tanks are from MGT in Israel and the bottling machine also comes from Tadbeek also in Israel as well so they've got an interesting setup there I couldn't find out what the volume of their brewing is but they do seem to be a brewery that's on the rise and available quite easily in a lot of different restaurants throughout Israel so hopefully I can try some of their own beers at some point in the future as well because it's always interesting to try beers from different countries but hopefully this isn't the last I'm going to see of Alexander Brewery and I do hope I can try their other beers but anyway just a little bit about McKellar before we get on to the tasting of this beer then so this is the famous Danish Gypsy Brewery of course founded by Christian Keller and Mikkel Bjergso or now it's now run exclusively by Bjergso who actually used to be a physics and maths teacher. These guys again are very influenced by the American craft beer movement and they basically started out as the home brewing experimentations of Christian and Mikkel and grew from there. They don't have their own brewery as such. This is the whole point of them being a gypsy brewery. They brew at a variety of sort of host institutions mainly in the US, Norway and then most of their beer is actually brewed in Belgium at the De Prof Brauerei at Lokrista Hefte which is near Ghent and they've also got a few bars all over the place now. They've got I think one in, they've got ones in Taiwan, there's one in Tokyo, Bangkok, I think San Diego as well, but of course they started out with their bars in Copenhagen, there's the old McKellar bar, there's the McKellar and Friends, and they now have their Warpix collaboration, which is with Three Floyds as well, and they brew their own beers there actually, I do need to go and check that out at some point in the near future, but McKellar of course, they're a very prolific brewery, I think they've brewed well over a thousand different beers now, these guys are really prolific and it's very difficult to keep up with exactly what they're doing, but they produce some really awesome stuff and if you're interested in Danish beer then McKellar is a really good place to start because these guys kind of embrace the home brewing spirit that's here in Scandinavia so yeah check out the websites of both breweries below and you can learn a bit more for yourselves if you are interested but let's get on to the tasting of this beer itself now so as I mentioned to you at the start of the video this one I think is going to be a sort of sweet stout 
it was listed as an imperial porter on rate beer actually when I checked it out but it comes in at 8.4 percent it's uh, it's got lactose in the brew there's some honey some orange peel and some cassonade sugar as well so it should be really quite interesting I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open up I'll just bring up the camera if I can find my cursor wherever he's gone there he is yeah there you are so there you can see there's the kind of winged turtle you can see on this one. I'm not sure what the story behind that is, but you can see the winged turtle, which is the symbol of the Alexander Brewery, of course, and then these this these kind of guys here are the typical McKellar artwork. You can see on the top there the beer of milk and honey, and of course this one does have an Alexander Brewery bottle cap on this one. The Hebrew is actually quite interesting. I forget what you call the characters of Hebrew, but it's always quite an interesting uh, language to see actually. So this one is best before the second of the 2nd of February 2019. I think it might be bottle number 844 or something. But yeah, looks very nice. It was cool to find this one in the small quarters here in Sweden. So let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting and definitely looking forward to this. So yeah, nice smoky opening there and we'll get this guy out and into the glass. I'll tell you something, you can smell the lactose on this beer. You really can smell that. There's a nice sort of uh, chocolatey thing actually but some brown sugar in there also but this is a really nice smelling beer actually oh i need to have a closer look at that in a minute but yeah as you would expect from this one it's poured a really nice kind of dark ebony rosewood color it's got, actually got quite a bit of a red tint to it it's got a ruby hue as well so if i put my fingers behind it you can see it's not transparent at all that's simply due to the color of it it does actually look as if it would be quite clear if the colour was a bit lighter so just bear that in mind but you had a nice kind of quarter finger of frothy beige tan head there's not much carbonation visible on this one just one or two big bubbles that are going up towards the bottom of the head there but overall the carbonation really isn't that visible in this one but it does smell very sweet you know when you're just moving this beer around you can detect some of the the different things coming off it really smells quite sweet and caramelly so let's have a closer look at the aroma and see how we get on with this one then mm. yeah when you go into it more closely it does smell kind of quite roasty there's a good little bit not quite a black malt but it's got a nice kind of roasted sort of grainy thing going on when you take it in a bit more deeply it's the brown sugars that are coming out you can smell the lactose underneath it as well it's got that kind of milky almost chocolatey character in it as well I'm not getting much in the way of the oranges though actually which is quite interesting but you can smell that almost honeycomb character coming out of the honey I always find that when they add honey to a beer it doesn't quite just smell of pure honey it always smells as if it's got a little bit of wafer or a biscuity element to it which is quite interesting so just be aware of that when you whenever you're having beers that have honey added into them but this one smells really nice there's maybe a little bit of earthy hop in there as well but yeah it does smell really interesting I would say a bit of earthy hop maybe it has a little bit of grassiness to it as well just a very slight touch of that but mainly the hoppy side of things is earthy but as I say the lactose kind of underpins this beer there's a nice chocolatey element to it quite milky I would say the lack with the lactose coming out some kind of toasted roasty caramel and a nice I'm not really picking up any of the kind of orangey aspects of the beer but the honey is definitely coming out with this one so yeah pay a little bit of attention to the aroma of this beer before you try it because that's always half the experience with craft beer as I say but we're going to have a go at this one now so this one is the beer of milk and honey a collaboration brew between Alexander Brewery from Emmet Heffer in Israel and McKellar from Copenhagen in Denmark Skål Oh yeah, definitely a sweet stout this one. This is really nice. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting this one. For me, I mean, the difference between a stout and a porter, of course, is the uh, is the mouthfeel this one definitely has the more oily and slightly creamy mouthfeel that you expect of a stout I think definitely I don't know why rate beer has this one listed as an imperial porter to me it really does come across as more of a stout but it really is lovely this is a lovely big sweet stout and this is a style that I really enjoy so I'm definitely glad that I picked up this one this is a cracking beer so if you get the chance give it a go but let's have a closer look at the flavor of this one Yeah, the flavour.
flavours in this just blend together really well. And it's interesting because the, the aftertaste is completely different than what it starts off as. So when the, the, the when the liquid is actually on your tongue, it's very kind of it's very sugary. You get a lot of this lactose kind of milky not quite milky, even milky chocolate character. It almost is just like a kind of regular milk but on top of that there's a lot of brown sugar in this one you really get the sweet kind of caramel aspects of this one it's a little bit toasted but you're also getting the, the sweeter aspects of the honey that almost honeycomb slightly biscuity flavor from this one this is a really interesting beer yeah that's really good i'm not getting so much in the way of oranges from this one. I thought the oranges would be a little bit more prominent. There was a beer that I had from McKellar at one point, I forget the name of it now, but it was one and it tasted like Terry's chocolate orange that we have back home in Scotland and it was, it really was just, it was a kind of milk stout like this but it really had this nice orangey flavour to it and I was kind of expecting a little bit of this one but this one really is it, it kind of is, it is almost exactly what it says on the bottle, it's the beer of milk and honey. It has that milky aspect to it and you've got a lot of caramelly sort of honey flavour. There is a richer caramel to it, I always find that honey just tastes a little bit lighter and has that almost wafery character to it as well, which is, uh, which is really nice. But this beer is pretty much exactly what it says on the bottle, it tastes like milk and honey. And it really does lean towards the malt side of things. There's not a lot of hoppy character in this. There's maybe a tiny little bit of earthiness in the back corner of the palate, but other than that, it really is very smooth. If you pay attention to the edge of your palate, where the hoppy side of the beer will come out, there really isn't very much coming out of this beer at all in that regard. As you move into the aftertaste, you can feel a little bit of earthiness and just a little bit of dry character pushing its way out a bit later on, but really the focus in this one is all about the malt base. Like I say, you've got these nice lactose milky flavours, a sweet kind of milky chocolate, some roasted, there's a little tiny bit of a roasted almost blacky malt in this one, but overall the beer is really, really quite sweet and there's a lot of, there's kind of a lot of complexity to this. I mean, the cassinade sugar that's in this one is quite interesting and I guess that's what's giving it the kind of thicker, richer caramel feel, but you can also near the front of your palate pick out these lighter, kind of honey and wafer things going on. But this is really nice, this is a lovely sweet stout. I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this one again. So hopefully, and hopefully as well, I can try more of the Alexander beers at some point soon. It'd be really cool to try some of their other things. They've got IPAs and they've got a couple of dark beers and things like that. So hopefully I can try those at some point because this is really good. But yeah, really definitely a sweet stout. As you move into the aftertaste, as I say, it does have a bit more dark, kind of roasted aspect to it. So if you get the chance to try this beer, I highly recommend that you do because it probably will be just a limited edition one. So yeah, um, in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer, I would say this guy is, it's probably fair to say it's mid body it's got a big kind of oily and slightly creamy mouthfeel, I would say. The carbonation is really smooth on this one. And that's interesting as well because remember, when we looked at the beer initially, there wasn't so much carbonation visible in it. But yeah, it's really, it's a big oily, kind of creamy mouthfeel that comes out of this one. As I said, the malt base is very, very sweet in this. And that suits the fact that it's got a big oily character, you know, that the cassinade sugar in this, I guess, has turned out very, very well. And the honey as well. The, it, it just, this beer, it's all about how the flavours blend together and it does it really really well this is a beer i would say with this one i often recommend that you you sometimes that you can pair beers with food and that it would go well with this for me just try this one on its own because it really is quite a unique one i do i do love that you know it, it's really is the beer of milk and honey actually but as i say with this one there's no real hot presence to this there's just a very very smooth earthiness around the front curve of your palate. I'm not getting so much in the way of oranges in this one. As I, as I was saying, there's another McKellar beer that tasted like Terry's chocolate orange, but this one doesn't really have that to it. This is more about the milk and honey. If you just pay attention to the little bit behind the front curve of your palate, you'll feel this little oily bubble, and you can feel 
a little bit of a kind of orangey ester in there, but it's very minimal. The flavour is dominated by the milk, by the lactose and the kind of honey and brown sugar aspects of the beer. There may be, I don't think there's a little bit of chocolate in this one, it really is a kind of brown sugar thing that's coming out of this one, but it really is a lovely beer. There's a little bit of fruity juiciness in there, it, it's really big oily creamy and it leans towards the malt side of things and there's a tiny tiny bit of hot dryness but overall this is a really really good beer if you get the chance to try it I highly recommend that you do and I would try it on its own just to kind of appreciate the full flavours of this one so yeah the beer of milk and honey from Alexander Brewery in Israel and Mikeller from Copenhagen in Denmark one of the small portiers that we got here in Sweden it, the beer deserves its rating that it has on rate beer for me it really hits the spot but I'm a lover of sweet stout so if you enjoy your sweet stouts, maybe if you like things like the, the Terrapin Brewery, the chocolate milk stout that they do, or if you've liked some of the other sweet stouts that McKellar do, it kind of does fit into that typical sweet stout style that McKellar do. And as I say, it's my first try of something from Alexander, so I can't really compare it to any, other, any of their other brews. But give it a go and see what you think of it for yourself. It's a lovely, lovely beer. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed my beer review. Until the next time, do like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer and the breweries in the comment section below do let me let me know a little bit more about the israeli beer scene i know there's quite a few craft breweries popping up out there so it would be interesting to hear from you guys but do recommend me some other kind of sweet stouts that are very similar to this one because this one was pretty damn good actually but yeah until the next time please like subscribe share check out all my usual social media but make sure you support your local craft breweries go and check out some of the beers from alexander brewery and from McKellar if you haven't before, but this one was really lovely. The beer of milk and honey from Alexander Brewery and Emmett Heffer in Israel and McKellar from Copenhagen in Denmark. Until the next time, slams just now, and hopefully I can return and do some more Israeli beers for you very soon. Cheers.